Good morning, people. This is uh, Thursday morning's devotion. Lovely, cool Thursday morning. Hope you're in for a fantastic day. A few weeks ago, we were in the book of Numbers, and Numbers chapter 13 and 14 was a, a very sad incident where Moses arrived at the edge of the Jordan River looking into the Promised Land, and it was soon after they had left Egypt, got to Mount Sinai, been given the law, and the children of Israel didn't want to go into the land. Moses commanded them, said, go in and take the land. And uh, in Deuteronomy chapter 1, we have a slightly different angle on that same story. According to Deuteronomy chapter 1, Moses commanded the people to go into the land. But they came to Moses and said, no, Moses, why don't we just send a spy into the land, first of all, to make sure that it is what we've been told it is. And so Moses said, well, that sounds like an averagely good idea. Let's do that. And so they sent the spies into the land, came back with the negative report from 10 and the true good report from 2. And God was very angry with them. Now, in this particular account, it is clear that angry God is angry because of their delayed obedience. Because what happened was, when they came back and the spies were about to be, you know, the two positive spies were about to be stoned, God got really angry with them and said, I'm going to wipe you out again. And Moses pleaded for them again. But their obedience was a delayed obedience because they came to Moses and said, okay, God is upset with us. We'll go into the land now. Meanwhile, they sent the spies into the land that had a negative re response for, to the, what the spies had said. And, uh, and then they said, because probably a guilty conscience and probably because they felt threatened by God, they said, okay, now we'll go. And Moses said, no, that's not a good idea. If God has not commanded you to go this time, then your best bet is just to stay where you are until we hear from God again. But they said to Moses, Moses, now as we call, God commanded us back then to go. The command still remains. We'll go now, although we'll go begrudgingly. And so Moses stood back and he said, guys, this is not a good idea. If you go, you go alone, which means simply that they go without God. And they went, and the people in the land gave them a hiding and sent them with their tail between their legs back again. And so we see here a picture of delayed obedience. Now, the lesson I want you just to learn today is delayed obedience is just another version of disobedience. I'm sure you've heard that before. But in this particular story, it exactly was that. They went, but they went on their own timing. They went because they probably had a guilty conscience or were afraid that there would be another punishment. They went and they obeyed in the long term what God had said, but they went at the wrong time. See, people, when we hear from God, we need to act immediately. Otherwise, you could fall into the trap of rationalizing like they did. Well, let's just check it out and send a spy and see if it's just what it is meant to be. Never disobey God. Follow his, his course exactly at the same time as he said it. Obedience has to be immediate. So I hope today that maybe you're facing some, some challenges. Maybe you, you've heard some stuff that God would want for you to do. Maybe there's an in, just an unction in your spirit to do a particular thing that you know it comes from God. Well, my appeal to you today is do not disobey. And you say, oh, I won't disobey. I'll just check it out first and then I'll obey when I'm ready. Don't do that. Obedience is an act of faith that it goes against the call of prevailing wisdom. It sometimes goes against the call of common sense as we rationalize and euphemize some of the things that God tells us to do. Now this is playing with fire because delayed obedience is always disobedience. If you go, you go alone. You don't take God with you. And Moses warned them and boy did they pay the price. So if God is saying something to you today, people, let's obey him immediately. Immediate obedience is what it has to be, because that's our statement of faith. You don't have to understand where you're going, how you're going, how you're going to get there. Immediate obedience to the word or the command of God is all that God requires. So I hope that we'll begin to think about that today. And uh, if you're in that position, then maybe we need to do something. But have a great day, guys. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.